Hi everybody, I'm Gary. I've been in the horticulture industry as a grower for a long time, over 40 years. So I've gotten a lot of experience and I wanna pass along some of it today. Right now it's late winter, so it's time to apply dormant spray on the fruit trees. There's always the potential of insects and mites and disease pathogens that can be overwintering on your fruit trees. So I highly recommend that you apply a dormant spray for a clean, healthy start in the spring. The spray solution I'm gonna be using today is a combination of horticultural oil and liquid copper fungicide. I'm going to mix these two together in the spray tank with water keep it well agitated as I'm spraying. Both of these products are organic, so you can use them on organic or non-organic crops. And they can be used on uh, fruit trees, small fruits, ornamentals, any plants that are listed on the label. Now the horticultural oil will control insects like aphids and scales are common and a host of other insects. It also does mites, spider mites, blister mites, that sort of thing. And it does uh, actually do uh, control on powdery mildew. That's why it's listed as an insecticide, miticide, fungicide because of the powdery mildew control. But we're adding the liquid copper fungicide because that's gonna take care of and control a whole lot of diseases and you think about anthracnose, fire blight, scab, and most notably the peach leaf curl because peach leaf curl can only be controlled at this stage of the game when it's dormant. Once it leafs out, there's really nothing you can do for it. So this is a good preventative on all of these things. Now the time to apply is when the trees are fully dormant and they should be well hydrated Weather conditions, ideally, it should be between 40 and 70 degrees Fahrenheit. You want light, calm winds, ide ideally, or light winds are okay, uh, and as sunny as possible. That way everything will dry quickly, because once it's dry, then it's doing its job. You want to apply this two or three times during the dormant season. Uh, we're starting right now, it's late winter, before buds are swollen at all. You don't want any bud swelling, you want to apply it in the dormant stage. And then you're going to do a follow-up in the fall after leaf drop. So a good way to look at it is after Thanksgiving, that's kind of your final process that you need to do to, before winter sets in. Um, and you want to do it late winter like now. Uh, say between Valentine's Day and the 1st of March. Now there's an option for a third application that, uh, that is certainly uh, would be fine to do. It would be in between those two. It would be basically in January. And it's not always easy to uh, have the correct weather conditions for that. So that one I just list as optional. It's really critical to do it late winter and follow up after leaf drop in the fall. The thing that you need to do to be ready to spray, the place to start is you always read the labels first. The labels are gonna give you the rate of the chemicals to mix in with the water. It's gonna give you the REI, the re-entry interval, which will be in this case, once it is dry on the plants, it's safe to re-enter for you and your pets and anybody involved. And also it will tell you the uh, uh, personal protective equipment you'll need. In this case, we've got gloves, we've got safety goggles, and you want to basically don't have any exposed skin. You want to uh, uh, have long sleeves, pants to, the, to your feet and uh, with boots on or shoes anyway, just to be safe. It, it can cause skin irritation, so you want to take all that into account. And then you'll need uh, uh, some type of spray equipment. In this case, we only have a few trees. We've just got a small pump-up sprayer. Uh, you can also use a hose-end 
sprayer for bigger trees uh, so you're not wearing your arm out pumping it up all the time. Uh, you can even put a, a small sprayer on an ATV and hook it to the battery and if you've got a lot of ground to cover. So the, you've got a lot of options on that. Uh, the important thing is to add some water, mix your chemicals in, add more water, get it really well agitated and keep the agitation when you uh, are spraying. Uh, you don't have to do it constantly, but you don't want it setting for a little bit and then pick it up without shaking it some. And so then I guess what we're ready for is to actually show you uh, the type of spray that you want because obviously you don't want a stream, but you don't want high mist either. Uh, 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 you want the droplets to be coarse enough that the wind won't be affecting it that much if there is a slight wind and also to get good complete coverage. That's the key, this stuff works by making good coverage, good contact, and so you have to have a complete spray when you do it. Okay, we're ready for spring now. We'll follow up in the late fall after leaf drop with another application. For more information, go to startbros.com.